Leaving the Game was filmed in 2014, and now we're finally seeing you on the big screen. My name is Gabrielle Cook here with Focus Magazine, and we are getting an inside look on what the actors and actresses had to go through to get this film where it is today. Stay tuned. So you did the music yeah, the for music this for film, the, the music for this film. How much time did you put into to, into it? Ooh, that was weeks, 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 yeah. Because you had to really look at each particular scene and I talked with Ed to try to get a feel for um, how could the music accent what he was trying to deliver in that particular scene. And then we went back and forth into the studio arguing back and forth about, well, this doesn't sound exactly right, that doesn't sound exactly right. So I kind of put myself in a room for four days at one time and just kind of scratching my head till I... For four days? For four days, absolutely. Well, I, I got food, obviously, but I just stayed in the room for four days and just make sure I hammered it out because I really enjoyed and, uh, the message and the music. Seeing this whole thing come together, how does that make you feel knowing that you had a critical part in it? Oh, man, I feel like, oh, cloud now. On cloud nine, absolutely, because I'm and I'm looking forward to the next one, absolutely. So it's a great, it's a great opportunity for me. So to really get into scoring and music scoring, because I come out of a, a gospel field as well as jazz. So to kind of bring all of that to fruition and then kind of dabble in hip hop and all of the stuff that we put into the particular film, that's a little different. Now you said gospel and jazz. Those are some really emotional, invoking. Uh, genres wow. and music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what kind of what kind of emotion did you want the the music to portray when you were putting it all together? Well, you know, you really want to try to identify um, instruments with each scene and each actor, and that instrument will follow that actor all the way through the movie. And so, when it was a sad scene, I really tried to get into what I call emotional chord progressions, and if it was uh, kind of rough and tumbly, you know, you kind of get into, you know, kind of being hard on the hip-hop side, you know, kind of the rap side. And then, I, obviously, if it, there was a, I don't want to give away the movie, but there are other things in there that, obviously, each particular character had their own quality, you know, so, so you want to try to get into uh, delivering music for 30 seconds that really accented their body style and the scene and all of that, but without taking advantage of what Ed was trying to do in the movie. So you have your you have your music here on the big screen. It's going to be here for a couple of days, actually. Where do you go from here um, with your music? Wow. Okay. Well, um, first of all, I want to get on that next movie that's coming through in there. That's one. Two is uh, I do. I'm with a group called the Gospel Sensation. So I do a lot of gospel music. We just got through with a tour out of Houston, and we'll be going to Atlanta stuff like that. So I just kind of dibble and dabble in all kinds of different music types. So to me, I don't like to set any limits. Yeah, I don't like to set it set in limits at all, so hopefully the sky's the limit, so we'll keep moving forward. Well, thank you keep so much. To the top. Thank you so much.